I'm going to show you my top favorite hacks to increase your heart rate variability during meditation. Number one, I want you to go to Brigham Young University's Biofeedback Center webpage and download their six breaths a minute MP3s. So I'm going to show you right now where to go. Right here, as you can as you're listening to is their harp version of the mp3. This specific sound that you're hearing dun, 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 dun. so inhale the second thing that I want you to do is wear something icy cold uh, or like a frozen bag of peas from your freezer and you're gonna put it right on your neck like this it's just gonna sit there the whole time and particularly on the left side is where you want to get the coolness this will automatically uh, raise your HRV as I've talked about in a previous video yeah and the third one that I want you to try is I want you to notice if you have any tension here kind of in the jaw and the uh, throat area okay it's very important to consciously uh, try to relax that before you start meditating because uh, you're gonna notice significantly less um, mental chatter and thoughts running around um, if you properly are able to relax that area. So if you combine resonant, so if you combine resonant breathing, uh, cooling the neck, and relaxing your throat and jaw, you're going to notice some significant gains in your HRV while you meditate. So let's put what I'm saying to the test. Okay, well that was just a brief demo and uh, what I want you to do is I want you to try to do this 10 minutes a day. This is the minimum. Uh, in an ideal world, you would do at least 20 minutes twice a day. If you really want to supercharge your meditation, if you want to get the most HRV benefits, uh, particularly from your paced breathing, you're going to want to do 20 minutes twice a day. Now, another thing you might be wondering is what is the best type of meditation to get the most HRV? Some of the meditations that, that came up in those studies are uh, Zen meditation, uh, mindfulness, of course, uh, Vipassana is on there, uh, loving-kindness meditation but the key is those are just studies and you know they were done with a hundred two hundred people whatever the number was and you are an individual so the only way to truly know which kind of meditation is gonna work best for you is with a wearable